welcome to let us crack gate ese me this is k mameshwara this batch is super talent batch for engineering sciences xe complete mass will be covered by myself complete technical subjects by jitendra singh gill detailed coverage of gate xe syllabus handwritten notes will be provided tests are curated by js gill and k mameshwara myself k mameshwara faculty of engineering mathematics for gate and esc educator at an academy i have 21 plus years of teaching experience i have guided more than 1 lakh students an academy presents पढ़ो केलो क्रैक करो लैंड विथ टॉप एडुकेटर्स फ्रॉम जुलाई फर्स्ट टू थर्टी एथ कॉन्सेप्ट बेस्ड लर्निंग फॉर ईच सब्जेक्ट टेक ए क्विज एंड चेक यूर प्रिपरेशन टॉप द लीडर बोर्ड गेट फीचर्ड ऑन यूट्यूब चैनल अन अकाडमी गेट एंड एसी प्रजेंट फ्री क्लासेस बै इंडिया टाप एडुकेटर्स An academy gate and ESC presents major league comeback 2.0, guaranteed scholarship test in mechanical engineering, civil engineering, electrical engineering, electronics and communication engineering, computer science and information technology. Total, you will have 20 questions, 60 minutes. Test will be conducted on July 17th at 12 p.m. Enroll for free. Use code KUR75. An Academy is announcing Lakshya Batch for Gate 2023. Batch commences from July 14th. An Academy is announcing Prakriti Batch for Gate 2024. Batch commences from July 14th. Use code KUR75. The features of an academy subscriptions, top educators, doubt clearing sessions, study notes, test series, and physical notes available for iconic subscribers, one is to one live mentorship program, strategy and study program for iconic subscribers, live audio interactions during open house for iconic subscribers. An academy gate and ESC presents plus offer. Save up to 38% in mechanical engineering, chemical engineering, computer science and information technology, electrical, electronic, electrical and electronics engineering, and civil engineering. Use code KUR75. Price hike is coming soon. Hurry, subscribe before the price hike to save big. Use code KUR75 for 10% off. Subscribe now. matrix theory lecture 10 in the previous lecture we have discussed problems related to eigenvalues and eigenvectors continuation of the problems matrix theory lecture 10 let a be a 3 cross 3 real matrix 1 and minus 1 are 2 of the 3 eigenvalues of a 18 is 1 of the eigenvalue of a square plus 3a then observe here a is 3 cross 3 real matrix. 1 and minus 1 are eigenvalues of A. A is a 3 cross 3 real, real matrix means it has 3 eigenvalues. So, 2 eigenvalues are known. The third eigenvalue is unknown. The unknown eigenvalue, let us take lambda. Let us take lambda minus 1, 1 minus 1 be the eigenvalues of matrix A. 
lambda 1 minus 1 be the eigenvalues of matrix A. Now, lambda square 1 square minus 1 whole square are eigenvalues of A square. Three lambda three minus three R eigenvalues of matrix the A lambda square plus three lambda one plus three equal to four. 1 minus 3 equal to minus 2 are eigenvalues of a square plus 3a. Lambda square plus 3 lambda 4 minus 2 are eigenvalues of a square plus 3a. Now, given that 18 is one of the eigenvalue of a square plus 3a. Therefore, we can understand that lambda square plus 3 lambda is nothing but 18. Therefore, determinant value of a square plus 3a is 18 multiplied with 4 multiplied with minus 2 minus 144 which is not equal to 0. Therefore, a square plus 3a is inversible. Lambda square plus 3 lambda equal to 18. Therefore, lambda not equal to 0. Since lambda 1 minus 1 are eigenvalues of A, therefore, determinant value of A not equal to 0. Since determinant value of A not equal to 0, A is non-singular. A is inversible. Here, A is inversible. Here, a square plus 3a is inversible. Therefore, we can conclude that both a and a square plus 3a are inversible is the correct answer. Matrix M 1, 1 plus i, 2i, 9, 1 minus i, 3, 4, 7 minus i, yeah, this matrix has only real eigenvalues or only imaginary eigenvalues. All eigenvalues of M are 0 or none of the above. Observe here, the matrix is a complex matrix. All the leading diagonal elements are, all the leading diagonal elements are real. All the leading diagonal elements are real. First row, second column, 1 plus i. Second row, first column, 1 minus i. First row, third column, 2i. Third row, first column, minus 2i. Second row, last column, 7 minus i. Second column, last row, 7 plus i. I mean, 2, 4, 4, 2. So, clearly, all the entries in the complex matrix satisfies the condition a i j equal to a j i bar a i j equal to a j i bar for all i j that is a power theta equal to a therefore a is Hermitian. Since matrix is Hermitian, therefore 
eigen values of a are real eigen values of a are real so a has real eigen values is the correct answer let a b m cross n matrix b b n cross m matrix then determinant value of up the here the matrix c is 2 1 1 1 1 2 1 1 1 1 2 1 1 1 1 2 now the matrix can be written as sum of two matrices like this Now, the matrix C is, the given matrix can be written as sum of two matrices. The first matrix has four rows are identical. Therefore, if four rows are identical, three eigenvalues are zero. Fourth eigenvalue is four. Plus, the second matrix C is Identity matrix. So, eigenvalues of identity matrix are always 1. Now, the matrix is in the form of A plus I. Eigenvalues of A are 0, 0, 0, 4. Eigenvalues of I are 1, 1, 1, 1. Now, the eigenvalues of A plus I are 0 plus 1, 1. 0 plus 1, 1. 0 plus 1, 1. 4 plus 1, 5. So, the eigenvalues of the given matrix are 1, 1, 1, 5. Therefore, determinant value is 5. So, the determinant value of given matrix is 5. So, 5 is the correct answer. Next problem. The eigen vector corresponding to the largest eigen value of the matrix. To calculate eigen vector corresponding to the largest eigen value, first we have to identify which eigen value is largest. So, first we have to find out eigen values of given matrix. Now, the eigen values of matrix A are given by a determinant of A minus lambda i equal to 0 determinant of 2 minus lambda 1 1 1 2 minus lambda 1 0 0 1 minus lambda now 1 minus lambda of minus lambda whole square minus 1 equal to 0 1 minus lambda of lambda square minus 4 lambda plus 4 minus 1 equal to 0 now continuation 1 minus lambda into lambda minus 1 into lambda minus 3 equal to 0 
lambda is equal to 1 comma 1 comma 3 so the largest eigen value is 3 now consider a minus 3i of x equal to 0 consider a minus 3i of x equal to 0 now 2 minus 3 minus 1 minus 1 1 1 1 minus 1 1 0 0 minus 2 now we have to calculate eigen vector right middle select first two non zero rows right middle last first middle middle elements are 1 minus 1 last elements are 1 1 first elements are minus 1 1 middle elements are 1 minus 1 now x1 by x2 by x3 by apply ad minus bc technique 1 plus 1 2 1 plus 1 2 1 minus 1 0 after cancellation x1 by 1 x2 by 1 x3 by 0 Therefore, the eigen vector is 1, 1, 0. The eigen vector corresponding to the largest eigen value 3 is 1, 1, 0. 1, 1, 0 is the correct answer. Next problem. Yeah, this trick is applicable only when matrix is 3 cross 3. If the eigen value is distinct, matrix is 3 cross 3. You have to select any two non-zero rows, right, middle, last, first, middle, apply AD minus BC technique. You can easily get the eigenvector. The technique is applicable only when matrix is 3 cross 3. The eigenvalue is distinct eigenvalue. Next. Which one of the following is eigenvector of the 4 cross 4 matrix? If the vector is eigenvector, compulsory matrix into x equal to lambda into x, a x equal to lambda x. Therefore, I am verifying a x is lambda x or not. I am going to verify with the help of options. Now, a x equal to first option. 1 minus 2 0 0 5 triple 0 0 double 5 0 0 0 2 1 multiply 5 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 0 minus 10 plus 0 plus 0 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 now the result is Five minus ten zero five minus ten zero zero take five common 
5 multiplied with 1 minus 2 0 0 that is 5x a x equal to 5x therefore 5 is eigen value of a and 1 minus 2 0 0 is eigen vector of a corresponding to eigen value 5 1 minus 2 0 0 is eigen vector of matrix A corresponding to the eigen value 5. First option is correct. Let P and Q be square matrices such that let P and Q be square matrices such that P Q is equal to I then 0 is eigen value of Since PQ equal to I, determinant value of PQ equal to determinant value of I, determinant value of PQ equal to determinant value of I, determinant of P into determinant of Q equal to 1. So, debt P into debt Q equal to 1 means debt P non-zero, debt Q is also non-zero. Determinant value of P is non-zero. Determinant value of Q is non-zero. So, both P and Q are non-singular. P and Q are non-singular. Therefore, 0 is Eigen value of Neither P nor Q. Neither P nor Q. 0 is eigen value of neither P nor Q. Next problem. A n cross n matrix A, Aij is defined as Aij equal to I for all I equal to J which is 0 otherwise, then sum of all eigenvalues of matrix A. See, observe, in the problem it is given that every element in the matrix is I for all I equal to J. I represents row position, J represents column position. Whenever row position is equal to column position, Aij is I. That means Aij is row number. That's why the matrix is diagonal matrix. 1, 1th element is 1. 2, 2th element is 2. N, Nth element is N. Remaining all entries are 0. Only in the leading diagonal, the entries are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like that. Till N. Because it is N cross N matrix. Sum of eigenvalues is always equal to trace of the matrix. Sum of eigenvalues equal to trace of the matrix. That's why we have to add sum of leading diagonal elements. Because if matrix is diagonal, eigenvalues are nothing but leading diagonal elements. 1 plus 2 plus and so on n. That is nothing but n into n plus 1 by 2. So the sum of eigenvalues is n into n plus 1 by 2. Next. For the matrix A, 3 cross 3 has eigenvalues 5 minus 3, 3. The eigenvector corresponding to eigenvalue 5 is 1, 2 minus 1. Then eigen vector of A Q, we have one property. The eigen vector of A, A square and A cube and A power n are always same. Eigen vectors are same. 
but eigen values are not same but eigen vectors of a a square a cube a power n where n is a natural number are always same that's why 1 2 minus 1 is the correct answer second option is correct eigen vectors of a a square a cube and so on a power n are always same based on that property i have selected second option consider the matrix a square a b a c a b b square b c a c b c c square when you look at the entries of the matrix, first row is A multiplied with ABC. Second row is nothing but B multiplied with ABC. Third row is nothing but C multiplied with ABC. All the rows are proportional. If three rows are proportional, compulsory, two of its eigenvalues are zero. The eigenvalues of A are Zero, 0 and trace a square plus b square plus c square yeah this is non-zero why it is non-zero since a b c are non-zero real numbers since a b c are non-zero real numbers that's why a square plus b square plus c square is non-zero so two eigenvalues are zero third eigenvalue non-zero so, the matrix has three non-zero real eigenvalues, complex eigenvalues, two non-zero real eigenvalues, one and only one non-zero real eigenvalue. So, last option is correct. Since three rows are proportional, if three rows are proportional, two of its eigenvalues are zero, third eigenvalue non-zero. Therefore, one and only one non-zero eigenvalue. Next, the matrix M with principal diagonal elements are 2, 5, 3. Principal diagonal elements are real. Remaining elements are satisfying the condition A i j equal to A j i bar for all i j. Therefore, A power theta equal to A. A power theta equal to A. Therefore, A is Hermitian. Eigenvalues of A are real. Eigenvalues of A are real. Now, if matrix is Hermitian, IM is Q Hermitian. Because if you calculate i a power theta, i bar into a bar power transpose, i bar is minus i, a bar transpose is a power theta minus i. Since a is Hermitian, therefore a power theta equal to a. So in the place of a power theta, you can write a. That is minus IA. IA whole power theta equal to minus IA. Therefore, IA is skew Hermitian. IA is skew Hermitian. Now, M is Hermitian, IM is skew Hermitian. Eigenvalues of M are real. Both Q and R are correct. Q and R only is the correct answer. The condition for which eigenvalues of the matrix A are positive. The condition for which eigenvalues of A are positive. Now, see, matrix is symmetric. 
we have one property if the matrix is symmetry if all the leading minors of if all the leading minors of a real symmetric matrix are positive then all its eigen values are positive here 1 cross 1 leading minor is 2 that is positive suppose 2 cross 2 leading minor is also positive then all its eigen values are positive the 2 cross 2 leading minor is nothing but 2 1 1 k that is 2 k minus 1 greater than 0 2 k greater than 1 k greater than 1 by 2 for k greater than 1 by 2 the eigen values of matrix a are positive understood next in a matrix a is equal to a b c d a plus d equal to 1 a d minus b c equal to 1 then a cube is first we have to find out characteristic equation of the matrix because we have to find out a cube a cube means power of the matrix power of the matrix means it is a problem designed on Kale Hamilton theorem that's why first we have to find out characteristic equation determinant of a minus lambda i equal to 0 determinant of a minus lambda b c d minus lambda equal to 0 a minus lambda multiplied with t minus lambda minus b c equal to 0 a d minus a lambda minus d lambda plus lambda square minus b c equal to 0 that implies lambda square minus a plus d into lambda plus a d minus b c equal to 0 given that a plus d equal to 1 a d minus b c equal to 1 therefore lambda square minus lambda plus 1 equal to 0 that is the characteristic equation called it 1 by Kale Hamilton theorem a square minus a plus i equal to 0 a square is a minus i called it equation 2 multiply with a on both sides a cube equal to a square minus a since a square is a minus i minus a a a cancel minus i therefore a cube equal to minus i the value of a cube is minus i let let a be an n cross n complex matrix whose characteristic polynomial is t power n plus c n minus 1 into t power n minus 1 plus and so on c naught then determinant value of a is determinant value of a is observe suppose if your matrix is 2 cross 2 the characteristic polynomial is a lambda square plus b lambda plus c characteristic equation is a lambda square plus b lambda plus c equal to 0 the product of roots lambda 1 into lambda 2 equal to c by a suppose if the matrix is 3 cross 3 a lambda q plus b lambda square plus c lambda plus d equal to 0 then the product of roots equal to minus d by a in the case of n cross n matrix 
द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ रूट्स लैमडा वन इंटू लैमडा टू इंटू लैमडा एन इक्वल टू माइनस वन होल पवर एन बिकॉज हियर एन इज इवेन दट्स वाई प्लस सी बै ए हियर एन इज ऑड दट्स वाई माइनस डी बै ए सो इन द केस ऑफ एन क्रॉस एन एन मे बी इवेन नंबर और ऑड नंबर That's why minus one whole power n to maintain sign multiplied with constant term by coefficient of lambda power n in our problem minus one whole power n into constant term is c naught coefficient of t power n is one so c naught by one. so we all know that product of roots is nothing but determinant value of a that's why det a equal to minus 1 whole power n into c not det a is minus 1 whole power n into c not understood next one If a is, if a is three one one minus three, then a power nine is determinant value of a minus lambda equal to zero. Three minus lambda one one minus three minus lambda. Equal to zero. Multiply minus nine minus three lambda plus three lambda plus lambda square minus one equal to zero. That implies lambda square minus ten equal to zero. Called it equation one by Kalevadan theorem. Every square matrix satisfies. its characteristic equation therefore a square minus 10i equal to 0 a square equal to 10i multiply this equation on both sides with a square a power 4 equal to 10 a square a power 4 equal to 10 a square 10 into a square is 10i That is hundred i, hundred i. A power eight is a power four into a power four. Hundred i multiplied with hundred i. That is ten thousand i. A power eight equal to ten thousand i. Multiply this equation on both sides with a. A power nine equal to ten thousand a. So we have to calculate a power nine. A power nine is ten thousand a. That is the correct answer. Understood? Next problem. The constant term of the characteristic polynomial of the matrix. The constant term of the characteristic polynomial of the matrix. See, just now we have calculated minus one whole power n into constant term. Minus one whole power n into constant term by coefficient of Lambda power n equal to determinant value of a. In our problem, order of the matrix is four. Therefore, minus one whole power four. Constant term by coefficient of lambda power four equal to det a. So minus one whole power four is one. That implies constant term by Coefficient of lambda power four equal to det a. In our problem, 
in the given data for when you look at first row and third row third row is nothing but two times of first row when two rows are proportional then the value of determinant is zero that's why that ta equal to zero therefore constant term is equal to zero because that ta is zero by taking cross multiplication we can understand that constant term is zero in this problem constant term is zero let a be a four cross four matrix with real entries 1 minus 1 2 minus 2 or its eigen values so a is a real matrix with eigen values 1 minus 1 2 minus 2 then if b is a power 4 minus 5 a square plus 5 y then which of the following is incorrect so here eigen values of a are known we have to find out eigen values of a power 4 a square 5 a square a power 4 minus 5 a square plus 5 y observe One one sixteen sixteen. Next, A power four one minus five A square five plus five one minus 5 1 minus 5 plus 5 next 16 minus 5 a square 5 4 ja 20 plus 5 i 16 minus 20 plus 5 these are nothing but 1 1 1 1 so the eigen values of a power 4 minus 5 a square plus 5 i are all 1 1 1 1 that is b now eigen values of a are 1 minus 1 2 minus 2 Eigen values of B are 1, 1, 1, 1. Eigen values of A are 1 minus 1, 2 minus 2. Eigen values of B are 1, 1, 1, 1. Add. Eigen values of A plus B are 2, 0, 3. Minus 1. Eigen values of A minus B are 1 minus 1, 0. Minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. Minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3. Now, determinant value of A plus B, 0. Trace of A plus B, 4. Determinant value of A minus B, 0. Trace of A minus B, minus 4. Now verify the options. Determinant value of A plus B is 0. Determinant value of A minus B is also 0. Determinant value of A plus B is 0. That is true. Determinant value of a minus b they have not questioned trace of a plus b is 4 
one minute trace of a plus b is 4 yes that is also true this is also true determinant value of b is 1 because eigenvalues of b are 1 1 1 that is true trace of a minus b 0 trace of a minus b is minus 4 So they have given trace of a minus b 0. That's why it is incorrect. So last option is the correct answer in this problem. Because you have to find out incorrect one. Incorrect one is last option. Last option is correct answer. If a is 1, 2, 3, 4. Then which of the following is inverse of A? A is 1, 2, 3, 4. First we have to find out characteristic equation. Determinant of A minus lambda i equal to 0. That is 1 minus lambda 2, 3, 4 minus lambda equal to 0. That implies 1 minus lambda into 4 minus lambda minus 6 equal to 0. That implies 4 minus lambda minus 4 lambda plus lambda square minus 6 equal to 0. That implies lambda square minus 5 lambda minus 2 equal to 0. Call it equation 1. By Kalamandan theorem, every square matrix satisfies its characteristic equation. A square minus 5A minus 2A equal to 0. Therefore, 2I 2i equal to a square minus 5a. Multiply this equation on both sides with a inverse. a square into a inverse, 5a into a inverse equal to 2i into a inverse. Now, a square into a inverse is a, 5 a into a inverse is i, 2 into a inverse, therefore a inverse equal to a minus 5 i by 2, a inverse is a minus 5 i by 2, correct answer is third option, understood? Remaining problems we can discuss tomorrow. Thank you.